what Isaiah, son of Amaz, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established. As the highest of the mountains, it will be exiled above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the, the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in the, his path. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Come, descendants of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Now the morning message. Last evening, afternoon, late afternoon, I was sitting in my room, and I was looking out the window. I put a bird feeder out there for the cats. I have a bay window, and this gives them something to watch between the birds and the squirrels and the chipmunks. You know, they, it keeps them entertained, trust me. That's better than attempting to uh, chase me and bite me and tease me. Um, and uh, it suddenly got dark. Now, I got to tell you something. I live on the other side of the mountain. And I'm telling you, I'm sure that that sun went down at 4 o'clock because it got dark. And I even looked out. There was no sun. Now, there was light. Now, I know the sun went down a lot later over here in this cove because you got more mountain to go to, you know, further off, and you got a more elevation. I know a gentleman in Saxon lives up against a ridge. He says he doesn't get sun till uh, May. <laughs> I said, we can leave this out here and it'll melt. It was like uh, December or so, I don't know. And he says, oh, no, I don't get sun. Nope. And I noticed this. I can remember the sun going down way over here, and now it's going down over there. And I'm there going, wait a minute. You need more sun. We are creatures. We are creatures who must walk in the sunlight. We are called to walk in the sunlight. Now, this isn't only God calling us to walk in the sunlight. This is our doctors telling us to walk in the sunlight. And this all started when I, I'm not on Facebook, okay? But I do read the news on the, on the internet, okay? And they have these strange little reports about health. And I came across this one that said, if you walk in the sunlight in early morning for 30 seconds, this is what it's going to do. It'll cure all your ills. So I thought, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So let me read this a little bit more. And it all comes out to um, something called, oh, let me find my word, near infrared light. The sun puts that off from the moment it comes up over that hill till about 9 o'clock. Now, it puts it off other times, too, but it's not, it's, that's the strongest time. It's not a dangerous radiation. What it does is, when it comes into your eye, it activates something back there, and you get all ah, energized. You feel mentally fit. It's good. It's good. It also activates some things in your body, too. It keeps everything healthy and running correctly. And I'm there going, 30 seconds in the sun. And then it was a little thing. Well, if it's cloudy, 30 minutes. And I'm there going, well, if you can't see the sun, what am I supposed to do for 30 minutes? I said, well, you don't actually look at the sun. You go out and look at the trees, look at the shrubbery, look at the plants. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. I'm going into winter, and I know there's been times when I've looked outside, and there's like two feet of snow, and I don't see no plants, and I don't, there's definitely no flowers, and the trees are bare, and they're just sort of standing there, you know. And, but if I could go out, even in the overclouded days, get those 30 minutes, 
You have to go outside too. Said uh, uh, this, the the windows cancel out this ultraviolet thingy. Okay, so you have to go outside. Outside. You know, they did a study during COVID. The people who went outside, took hikes, went out into nature, they were healthier than people who just locked themselves up in their house. Why? Because it got you out into nature. We are a creation of God. We were created. At the same time, he created the earth, he created the plants, he created the animals. We're just another item on his creation. And we're an integral part of all these plants and these animals. You know, you ought to be glad you live out here in the country. Can you imagine if you lived in an apartment building 10 stories high with 10 apartments on each one? And the only tree was a scraggly little thing out front that was like beaten up and dead. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They have discovered people are healthier when they are out in nature, when they have access to nature. On the first day, God created light. He created light. Light. Oh, one other thing. When you go into winter, 55% of the days are overcast, so you're not going to see any sun. Got that? I loved yesterday. Yesterday was awesome. The sky was blue. The sun was warm. I got out there. It was great. I even put out some Christmas decorations outside, you know. Now, today, overcast. Do you know what that does to you mentally? It depresses you. I told you, we are children of light. When we don't have access to that light, it's not good for us mentally. There's another aspect to this. It's called vitamin D. Y'all take your vitamin D? D? Yeah. Couldn't figure out why I had a doctor who kept saying, you are taking that vitamin D, aren't you? Okay, yeah, 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 I'm taking it, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. Vitamin D, <clears throat> you can get from the sun. And that is one reason why our skin is so fair, because it knows that we're not going to get that much sun, all right? So if you go out in the sun, you can collect vitamin D. Now, the interesting thing is your cats get it, too. But as you know, they got fur all over them. You know how they get their vitamin D? They sit in the sun, and then they lick their fur. I don't understand. I do know that we do not have to lick our skin to get vitamin D. Okay, just trust me, it'll come right in. Vitamin D is very important because if you don't get vitamin D, you get this disease called rickets. What's rickets? Rickets is a deformity of the bones. You lose your calcium and your phosphorus, and it just gets bad. It's bad. You take vitamin D to stay healthy, to keep everything running, and you assume when we were created, we were in the sunlight. We had no problem with vitamin D. But now we are creatures who live in 10-story apartment buildings with 10 apartments in each one. And what happens if you're not facing the right way and you don't even get sunlight in your place? Think about it. Creatures of light. We are entering a season of hope, and we like candles to symbolize, to symbolize light. If you've ever gone through a uh, power outage, my husband was telling me, he says, well, I think we are. Man. Anyway, he put a generator out there, and I told him, hey, listen, dear, I know you've walked me through. You said, you do this, you do this, and do this, but you did that two years ago, and I have no idea if the power went out what I'm supposed to do. I said, would you please write a list, step one, step two, step three, and we'll put it next to the generator so that I know what to do. Just don't assume I'll know. I don't, okay? But if you ever went through a blackout where you had no electricity, you know it's awful dark in your house at night. Do you know what I do? I go to bed. <laughs> My sister called me up. She said, where's no electricity? I said, yeah, I know. Where are I'm, I'm in bed. Well, what should we do? I said, go to bed. <laughs> I can't do anything. 
<laughs> they know the electricity went out. We're off the main line. They know it went out, OK? Just go to bed. It'll come on sometime in the night. It'll be good. It'll be all right. What do you do when the power goes out? Well, you, you're supposed to have flashlights. You can have candles. And then you discover how important that light is. You discover how important even a flashlight is. It helps you find your way. I heard this horrible story about this lady who was staying at her grandma or her mother's house. She opened the wrong door and fell down the cellar steps. She thought it was the door to the upstairs. And she just went, broke a leg. Hey, she wasn't paying attention, and it was dark. That's what happens. You stumble in the darkness. Have you ever tried to walk through the woods at night? It's rough. There's twigs, there's things, and unless you got the light right there, you won't see them. You got to be careful. Light is necessary. We live in a world of darkness. I just read there were 600 mass shootings this year. And that's kind of a weird number because they don't really have a criteria for what makes a mass shooting. You know, if you have a, a mass um, uh, casualty, it's anything over three. I do know that. But a mass shooting, what is a mass shooting? Is that more than one, more than two, more than three? I don't know. I don't know, but people seem to be awful angry, upset, frustrated. That last one, the guy was shooting people purposefully. It wasn't a random shooting. He was picking them out. And then my husband told me it was horrible. He said, hey, you know, after he shot him once and they were dead, he came back and shot him again. Now that's anger. Where does that come from? That comes out of the darkness. That's not something that lives in the light. That's darkness. And we live in a world of darkness. And unfortunately for us, we're going into a season of darkness where the sun isn't going to be shining every day. It's probably going to be overcast. And that's all because of snow and rain and all that stuff they give you in meteorology. But that's the bottom line. And you know it. you're going to have fewer and fewer sunny days. And you're going to have fewer and fewer hours of sunshine to replenish your body, replenish your energy. They had a list here. The benefits of being in the sun. I want to read these to you. It supports better sleep. OK? It sets up that you know you have an internal uh, rhythm, a circadia rhythm in your body. And if you get that out of sync, it's not good for you. Support better sleep, uplift your mood, you always feel better in the sun, increase energy, that's those UV lights hitting the back of your eye, improve symptoms of mental health and condition. So that's because you're not depressed, okay? The sunlight lifts your spirits. It lowers your blood pressure, why? Because you're no longer anxious. Lowers risk of metabolic syndrome. And I'm there going, well, metabolic syndrome. Ah, it's a little bit of everything thrown in there that can go wrong in your body. Heal inflammation, prevent cancer, stronger bones, extend life expectancy. That's what the sun can do. It can help you stay mentally, physically healthy. The scripture from day, for today is from Isaiah. It says, in the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as highest of the mountains. Where is the Lord in your life? Is the Lord the most important thing in your life or not? I think this is a, Isaiah. Oh, he lived oh, mm, millennium ago, millennium, long time ago. But he has a message for us today. He's saying, in the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains. What's that mean? Well, there are other gods worshipped on other mountains, but God's mountain is bigger, and that is the one that's most important. Why? Let us go up the mountain of the Lord. He will teach us his ways that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction in the word of God from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. 
You all have one of these. This is not a first aid kit, but it is in a way. It's a first aid kit for your life. When things go terribly, terribly wrong, this is where you turn and you look and you read. He shall judge between the nations and shall arbitrate for many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. If you're walking in the light of Jesus' teaching, you have no need for the anger that builds up and turns into mass shootings or just in frustrations within your home or anger with your employees. It doesn't matter. He shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. They all became farmers. Well, that's a lot better than being a soldier because farmers actually supply food and you survive. If you go to war, what are they doing in Ukraine? They're blowing each other up. The people are freezing. They have no food. That is what war does. It disrupts, destroys. God has a path. He says, let us walk in the light of the Lord. We get up early in the morning and walk in the light to set our day off. Take some time and walk with the Lord. There is a hymn called, I Go to the Garden, While the Dew is Still on the Roses, and they walk with the Lord. I walk with Jesus. Do You have to take time out every day, just as you, you sit down. Hey, I know y'all. You got pills. <laughs> you got pills. You sit there every morning, and you get your pills, and you get your pills. Take the same time and fortify yourself for the day. Just as you fortify yourself by walking in the light in the morning to gain that healthy advantage, put on the armor of the Lord to go out into the world. And where you are, it will be light because there's a lot of darkness out there. I went through the scriptures. It says in Ephesians 5, 8, For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light. Live as children of light. Fortify yourself. Get those scriptures in your heart so that when you go out into the world and you run into this darkness, you have a shield. Uh, the psalm, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, it restores my soul. This concept of the Lord can restore you. Restore you is recharge you, re-energize you, give you the faith and the hope, the hope to walk through the next day. Because I'm telling you, you never know what's going to happen that next day. You don't know what's going to fall down. You don't know what's going to blow up. You don't know. You have to be ready. Fortify yourself with the word of the Lord by taking care of your pills, too. I have to tell you something. In 1816, there was a year without a summer. There was no summer. 1816, no summer. Uh, the lakes and the rivers in Pennsylvania were frozen over year-round. Uh, all crops failed. Uh, no, wheat and rye survived badly. Everything else died. It frost. I mean, it was freezing. It was freezing. Now, it was worse in the northern part of the United States, Pennsylvania, you know, in the northeast. And they said, what, what did the people do? Well, they died. They starved to death. They froze to death. And then there was this mass migration out of that part of the country south, okay? They wanted to get away from the cold. They couldn't survive. What happened? This, what happened to the sun? Well, there was a volcano erupted out in Thailand or somewhere down in that part of the country. And what happened was 
that dust got up in the sky and it created a blanket so the sun couldn't come down. That's how dependent we are on the sun, folks. We don't get the sun, our crops don't live. We don't live. That's the physical sun. If we don't walk in the light of the sun, then we are in the darkness and we're stumbling around lost and we don't know what to do. We are forsaken, forgotten, and lost. Fortify yourself, folks. 30 seconds in the sun. <clears throat> Can you take a minute for a scripture? You have no idea what that can do for your life. Going into Advent. There are Advent booklets out there for every day. Pick one up. See what change. Let's do a scientific experiment. Okay? Just try it. See what changes in your life. Whether you can go out and you feel like re-energized, ready to meet whatever comes down out of that sky. And you know, you'll have the same benefits. You'll have good sleeping. You'll uplift your mood. You'll increase your energy. Same thing, because that's what the sun does. The S-U-N and the S-O-N.